Bavarian cream, strawberry, watermelon chili. With over 441 flavors to choose from, you are guaranteed to find a flavor that you like. Anything from coconut, sweet tarts, even monkey farts, anything, and you'll probably find what you like. Welcome to iVapor Depot, Denver's chief retailer of vaporizers and electronic cigarettes. We are committed to helping individuals transition from a bad habit into a healthier lifestyle. iVapor Depot is your go-to store for all of your vaping needs. Located conveniently on Denver's Green Mile, iVapor Depot offers its customers only the highest quality of product from the leading names in the vaping industry. Our arsenal of products include not only vaporizers, but batteries and premium e-juices. iVapor Depot, 1559 South Broadway. iVapor Depot. Music Buzz Live Radio. My name is Moose. We're back here, powered by Evergreen Apothecary and Mary's Medicinals. As always, Chad Drew, CT, back there in the booth, and we've got our resident film critic extraordinaire, Kevin Jordan, in the hey house. Yo. What's Hi. up, dude? How you doing, man? I'm good. I, I don't like the term film critic, though, because then immediately people are like, oh, that shit doesn't know what he's talking about. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and you're saying that you do, though. I hope so. I, I, <laughs> the way, so we'll just jump right into it. The way that I do my reviews is I, I try to look at it from the point of view of the audience, not from, like, you know, Roger Ebert. Right. Nobody cares about technical stuff in movies except for technical people. So I want to tell you about story. I want to tell you if I liked it. I'm going to tell you if, you, if I think you're going to like it. Very cool. Okay. Rest and his soul, Roger Ebert, by the way. Shout out. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> so what are some of the what are the key things that you look for as a critic or as a, as a film watcher that stand out to you as something that separates a good movie from a shitty movie? Oh, it's always story. If, if you give me a good story that doesn't, isn't filled with re- just stupidness and just gets me into it, I'm there. That okay. and good characters. Give me a good character anytime, and it trumps, makes you forget the dumb things that happen in some movies. Very cool. Totally. I'm like totally a film major from ASU, and it's very interesting to watch some of uh, some of your reviews. I've definitely enjoyed them. I think you do have a great uh, way to look at it for, from the audience. I think you're describing it perfectly. So, what yeah. kind of what kind of education do you got? Where you where you come from? <laughs> well, uh, so University of New Mexico is where I went. Hey yo, I you studied. No. I studied engineering, so almost the polar opposite of Very film. Very cool. But yeah. my wife is a film major. Cool. So I spent most of my last year in school doing projects with her and her group and just having fun with it. Right. So other than that, it's all just pure watching movies. Which is the fun part, too. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> and you've been contributing on our site for a while now. Um, Definitely. And we, that's why I figured we should have you down here so yeah. we could introduce you to the world uh, via camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I uh, met Trevor almost a year ago. I don't remember. It was one of the summer blockbuster movies. And we got to talking, and I, he said he asked if I wanted to throw my reviews up on the site. And I was like, sure. Very cool. Yeah, absolutely, man. We got so, this little profile up here, and now we'll be able to add this video to it, man. What's What's coming cool. up that you're looking at? Uh, you're looking at watching. What's going to be good this summer? Oh well, uh, so there's a review posting tonight. Uh, the Avengers: Age of Ultron. I'm okay, so excited yeah, for that. Totally. Yeah, it's written. I saw it Monday night. It is. It's everything you want a movie to be. It's It's fun. It's exciting. It's two and a half hours. That you don't even notice. You by the time it's over, you're like, two and a half hours. Huh. Wow, that was great. Right. So yeah, they've been doing a lot of the superheroes, and I've been totally enjoying the storyboard, actually, the story of it mm-hmm. that they've been throwing in. I'm imagining this one's got to be right on par. Yeah, it, it's same kind of plot. It's, you know, bad guy's going to destroy humanity, and the Avengers got to stop him. Right. Um, you're more watching it for the overarching story, which if you've been following, it's the Infinity Stones, right? Right. So you get a little bit of that. You get a little bit of more fracturing in the group, more character development, a couple new characters. Awesome. Um and just, you know, boom, explosions and fighting and good action. And, you know, it's got to be a, a hell of a story to make a two-and-a-half-hour movie interesting because a lot of times when I'm in a theater or, or even on my couch, a movie starts dragging on and I'm just passing out. Yeah. You know, and, and, and there, are, there are very few movies. I would say over my life... I've probably seen five movies over two hours long that I am willing to watch again all the way through. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's a really good point is is rewatchability, right? You you watch the Oscars and you wonder why they never nominate movies that are, you know, fun action romps and, and I saw it in somebody else's review a while ago. They said, Am I ever gonna watch Birdman 
ever again in my life. No. Yeah. No. No. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I would. Maybe maybe just to study some of the technical aspects of it. Yeah. Exactly. The yeah. way that they did the one one shot, pretty much the whole thing, mm-hmm. even though you could see the edits for the most part. Yeah. I, it was it was interesting to see how they did it. I think the story was cool, but I don't know if. Yeah, you're you're like one out of a hundred audience members. Yeah, so. yeah, and I'm sure I know yeah. that, that that entertainment value isn't for everybody to rewatch. You know. Yeah, but. it'd be like watching football for the blockers. <laughs> you know? Yeah, right. Very <laughs> man, so, right? that center's looking really good tonight. <laughs> yeah, he's really <laughs> shifting to his right. Well, yeah. <laughs> the way he lifted his helmet up was yeah. just great. <laughs> yeah. So uh, other other movies I'm looking forward to. Mad Max is uh, screening in a couple weeks. I'll be at that one. Mm-hmm. Um. Somebody asked me if that's a remake or like a sequel, and I honestly don't know. I've seen a, I've seen one preview, right? And uh, that's all. I refuse to watch more than one preview. I don't want movies ruined for me. It'll totally ruin it too. Yeah, yeah. I hate. Previews. So uh, uh, the new Jurassic World is coming out later in June, mm-hmm. and, and that that seems to be the movie that's getting the most hype for the summer right now. Yeah, I think so. I mean, besides the Avengers, it's. Yeah. I think it has to be. It's yeah, been definitely. so many years since the third one came out, and. And nobody's really been excited about them since the first movie, you know, back in 93, I think it was. Yeah, right. yeah I, I so, was a grade school kid when that first one came out. <laughs> yeah, and if you've seen the preview, you see Chris Pratt riding a motorcycle with a group of velociraptors, and you're like, what? Yeah. what is this going to be? <laughs> so, I mean, it, it gets you right with the preview. Doors open, right? Yep. Of course, Star Wars. How excited are you? Are oh, you a man. Star Wars fan or what? <laughs> when I said, have you seen the new preview that just huh. came out? It is the first 90 seconds of it. You're just watching a speeder going along like a desert and there's a Star Destroyer crash wreckage in the background. Right. And it, that's all you see for like 90 seconds. And if you're, if you're a fan of that kind of stuff, it just makes you, you know, yeah. you can't wait till December. Yeah, yeah I might have said I hate previews, but I'll watch a Star Wars preview. Yeah, in my rule of thumb, watch the first... Watch the first theatrical trailer and then nothing else after that. Very cool. But okay. with Star Wars, J.J. Abrams usually keeps things close to the chest. So yeah. you can he's break like, the rule. Yeah, yeah. You, you can get away with almost anything with him. So Very are cool. you a rom com guy? Uh, it depends. Having said that, I'm going to. Next week is uh, Reese Witherspoon and uh, Sophia oh, Vergara. Yeah. I can't remember the name of the movie, uh, but. It's like a Thelma and Louise almost. It looks right? like it, yeah. yeah. Is, but is, I just, I'm curious because. My fiance is constantly giving me shit for only liking rom coms, which I like other kind of movies too. But I think the debate that we really have is who is a good actor or actress in a rom com and who is a cheese ball. Yeah. You know, like she hates Cameron Diaz. <laughs> but she gets annoying. I would put, I would say, obviously, there's a Will Ferrell, like a huge character like that. I love Zach Galifianakis. I could see him doing some kick-ass rom-coms. He, yeah, yeah I, I mean, if you in Birdman, yeah, he was <laughs> yeah. my favorite part of Birdman. Oh, yeah. Seeing him yeah. out of that, you know, dumbass yeah, role, absolutely. and playing it straight, like wow, he's he can really act. Will yeah. Ferrell did the same thing in Stranger Than Fiction, right? And you're just like, what? That's Will Ferrell? Yeah. Jesus, why doesn't he do actually, more stuff like this? Actually mm-hmm. acted. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I always liked Adam Sandler for a rom-com, but I guess. You not know, everybody likes I'm Adam not going to lie, the older I get, the less I like the Adam Sandler movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was cool back in the day, I guess. Like when I was a stoned 16-year-old, Billy <laughs> Madison was great. <laughs> yeah. I'm still stoned, dude. That's why I like him. <laughs> no, I, you know, you can watch those movies again and again, but yeah, yeah his, his more recent stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel like Spanglish was the start of the decline of Adam Yeah, that Sandler. could have been. That could have been and right And you know what? There. And it's not because that was a terrible movie. It was honestly a, a pretty good plot line. It's just, I don't feel like... Adam Sandler fans want that out of Adam yeah. Sandler. Yeah. No, no. no I liked Eight Crazy Nights. That was cool enough. Yeah, it, so. It's kind of what did Jim Carrey in when he did the Truman Show. Yeah. Uh-huh. And yeah. people are like, wait, isn't he supposed to be funny? Yeah. Right. Where's where's uh, where's uh, Ace Pettin Ventura? Tower. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you know, you watch you watch these actors. Like the big one for me was like uh, Kevin Costner. I'm like, he plays the same fucking role in every movie, and then he finally played a villain. Or or Robin Williams in that uh what was it the twenty four Doubtfire no no he's thinking like uh, one hour photo yeah 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 yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. where they where they totally flip yeah yeah where mm-hmm. you're like this guy's supposed to be funny and then he creeps you out you know yeah. like yeah. that's that's what I like as a versatile actor and you mm-hmm. gotta just keep wondering when is Michael Sarah gonna do that because he is like <laughs> the definition of typecast these days he's the same high school emo kid in every single movie what right? was it him in uh, that end of the world movie where he was playing like. 
totally this like the, the end opposite. Or yeah. Yeah, where he was oh, like, oh yeah, he was like just boning chicks in the bathroom. Yeah, and then he's like just stud. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that that was fun. I like I like seeing that in movies. You got some favorites from from days past. Favorite movies, movies? movies wise. Oh geez, what are what are your some of your go tos? What's uh, rewatchability? You know, <laughs> yeah. for, so Independence Day for the longest time, just love that movie mm-hmm. over and over and over again. Uh, Major League. Yes, uh, one of my personal favorites. <laughs> I've got the whole series on VHS. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about the sequels, but yeah, the yeah, first the, one is yeah. phenomenal. Um, speaking of long movies, Titanic. I will yeah. argue with anybody who says it was a bad movie because it, it just I wasn't. Did. They did great. I think they. Yeah. I think they just played that son of a bitch out, dude. They like milked that forever. Oh, sure, out. yeah. That's all. Yeah. It was a great one yeah. at the beginning, though, for sure. I mean, Shawshank. Shawshank, Shawshank is classic. Shawshank. Yeah. Every time it comes on TV, you you have to stop and yeah. watch yeah. that one and A uh, Few Good Men. I can't. If I see A Few Good Men on, I'll watch it. Dude, until I, it's I see. Over. I yeah, see A Few Good Men and almost recite the damn lines. I've watched that shit so long. Yeah. Reservoir Dogs, same sort of thing. Yeah. So, uh, like recent movies, um, Edge of Tomorrow is one of the best yeah, that's a good one. fiction right. movies I've seen in a while. And yeah, that was a good one. People get after Tom Cruise, but his sci-fi movies always, you know, hit with me. Right. Well, you're I'm, usually you're usually pretty harsh, like on the reviews on our site. I noticed you're you're not afraid to bash a movie if it deserves to be bashed. Man. Not right. at I all. commend you for that. Yeah. yeah, especially the ones that get all kinds of hype. Uh, Gravity is the one recently that I just destroyed yeah and it wasn't so much because of the movie the movie was entertaining but the critics response was just it was crazy it oh my god sense. gravity yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally yeah that was it ended up kind of i thought it was nice i think it was cool i think you could watch the last half and get the catch you know the most of it you know what i mean yeah that first half of the movie was kind of boring to me well yeah and no story there's yeah. no story in that movie and you don't care you shouldn't care about her at all yeah because she there's no nothing at stake yeah mm-hmm. like interstellar though that one caught me attention yes i liked interstellar they did that well even though i still don't understand the whole black hole get behind the bookcase thing whatever <laughs> that's it we, we don't yeah. know so yeah, you know, yeah christopher nolan having fun yeah for sure all right, so I've got a question, and we can all debate this: Crazy Heart or The Big Lebowski? Uh, I did not see Crazy Heart, and I do not like The Big Lebowski. <laughs> mm. You probably like Crazy Heart then, because that's it's uh, Jeff Bridges. It's like that role we're talking about, where he's the other guy. Oh, okay, he's not yeah. the stoner idiot. I mean, he kind of is in a way. He's like a country musician, but it's uh it's not it, so it, much of a dumb comedy. <laughs> Okay. Lebowski. I'm a big Lebowski fan. Lebowski. Yeah, Lebowski, <laughs> dude. That shit was funny to me, dude. So, <laughs> John Goodman fucking running around looking like a punk ass dude. You gotta love that. <laughs> and that's and that's what I tell people about movies. Like you, you are. If you want to like movies, great. But when you start saying they're good yeah. and they're not good, I'll, I'll take you down for it. Yeah. But I mean, I like stupid movies like Battleship. Horrible, uh, horrible movie, but it's yeah. fun to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever watch Batteries Not Included? Oh, man. 1988. One. Long time ago. Yeah. Uh. That was when I was a kid. That was like my favorite movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, who doesn't? I watched it over and over and over again. Uh, Starship Troopers is another one. Yeah. yeah just, totally. I love Troopers. watching that movie, and it's not that good. Yeah. No. But it's fun. It's it's a good, fun movie. Yeah. Yeah. Just we like, could check out more reviews on our website. Go to the menu bar. Hit movies. We have a movie club, too, if you want to see uh, early premieres of movies. And then Kevin always has a, uh, a weekly review of some of the movies that that we're featuring. So definitely Very cool. check that out. Yep, trying to get one out a week. Uh, life gets in the way for me, my day job. So, But I, I, I last year I hit 70 movies. Wow. So cool. That's yeah, working right there. Pretty much going to get one every week, yeah, almost every week. Go. Two if it's a good week during the summer when there's more stuff coming out. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. noticing... Uh, it's, on the back end of our website, like how many contributions, how many posts that you've actually posted. I'm like, man, we got to get this guy down here because yeah, <laughs> yeah. you've contributed a lot over the last year, man. Yeah. So we really appreciate that. We definitely appreciate you being part of the World Viral uh, family, dude. I know a lot of people love your reviews. So. Good, yeah, it's been fun. And, and there's a, I've been writing since 2008, and I've got a blog where I keep just as an archive. So if you want to read older reviews, it's just number nine movie reviews dot blogspot dot com, and there's there's about two hundred and sixty of them out there now. Wow, awesome. cool. So, all right, well, Kevin cool. Jordan, our resident movie expert, thank you for coming down, man. One more thing, real quick, if yeah. you were uh, going to have your wife over, it was the first time she came to your house for a date. What would you put on? Mm. Ha! Our first date was a movie. It was uh, very bad things. 
Right. Very bad right. things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not one I would recommend for a date, but yeah. <laughs> it worked for us. <laughs> All right. Kevin Jordan, this has been uh, this is Music Buzz Live Radio. I shouldn't say this has been, but there's still more coming. We've got our, our much anticipated Motel Minute coming up here in just a few minutes on World Viral TV. Stick around. Thanks, Kevin. Yep. World Viral. Do you want to experience the new phenomenon in Denver? The cannabis industry is alive and growing, and the best shop for your marijuana experience is Evergreen Apothecary. As seen on CNN, CNBC, CBS, and the Today Show, Evergreen Apothecary is slowly becoming the nation's go-to marijuana shop. Featured in the Denver Magazine 5280, Evergreen Apothecary, the corner store of the new Green Mile, features top quality marijuana available for medical and recreational purchase. Consistency is a key, and you will find it here. Available now, smokables, edibles, concentrates, and drinkables, along with the world-renowned Open Vape. Located on South Broadway in Iowa, the best shop in town is ready to educate and provide the exact marijuana product to fill your needs. Mention World Viral TV and receive an additional 10% off your entire order. Call us at 720-722-1227 or go to evergreenapothecary.com for more information. Evergreen Apothecary, the finest medical and recreational cannabis center in Denver. Evergreen Apothecary.